what else do you want when you wake up to this breathtaking view as we saw a man comes selling flowers in his shikara with no shikara in sight the generous houseboat owner extended his personal boat for a delightful journey across the dal lake to explore the enchanting corners of kashmir now we are traveling to gulmarg before we start exploring the kashmir's corner we made sure to enjoy a full feeling breakfast at raja dhaba we ordered aloo paratha for both of us and then headed towards the mesmerizing roads adorned with lush green trees on either side of the road lined with tall green pine trees the road seems as a canopy of shade against the backdrop of the overcast sky as we traveled through this enchanting destination we found ourselves surrounded by the panoramic vistas that seem to have been plucked straight from a postcard so this was us and i just got lost by the view beyond the star window panes so after some time We reached the spot, mostly known as the Valley of Flowers. Then, walking for a while, passing through some hotels and resort, we reached Gulmarg Gondola Cable Car Station. One suggestion to all of you if you are visiting Kashmir for the first time a trip to Gulmarg and Gondola ride is inevitable we have already booked our tickets through online if you are not able to do so you can also book from the ticket counters there are two phases phase 1 is at lower altitude Gulmarg to Kungdor It took around rupees seven hundred and forty per person for two-way ticket. So, after standing in the queue for fifteen minutes, we got to ride the cable car. As we were traveling in the month of July, it was greenery all around. But if snow is your main preference, then you have to visit Kashmir during winters. But if you don't prefer the cold, as me, and want to visit in warmer months. that april onwards is the best time for you as this was my first experience with a cable car ride i was really enjoying it and as far as you can see you will see green pine trees with dense greenery throughout as we came out of the cable car we could not find snow so after spending some time as it was about to rain so we headed towards the phase 2 So waiting for another half an hour as there was a huge chaos as it started raining we got to ride the second phase cable car with the help of our guide Phase 2 was from the Kundu to Akarwat peak and the ticket cost rupees 950 to one pro which was at an altitude of 13780 feet As the second phase of gondola it was quite cold outside so It's advisable to carry your warm jackets with you. In the second phase we were able to see some snow and there were some snow sports were going on but we decided to enjoy the moment by ourselves. As we sat on the rocks we saw people enjoying in the snow.
after our gondola ride, we hired a jeep to explore the Gulmarg Valley. There were lots of activities such as skiing, horse riding, snow scooter, jeep riding to have the sightseeing. The vivid sky, panoramic mountains, green valleys, all were just beyond imagination. Owing to the fields of blooming flowers, white small flowers that covers the lands of the city Gulmar is truly satisfy its name, the Meadow of Flowers. As we travelled through Jeep, we saw different colours of flowers were blooming and we stopped to go close and sit by our side to enjoy the moment. Exploring the Gulmarg Valley, we headed towards the Maharaja Hari Singh's palace. It is said that the palace had been built over an area of 8,700 square feet by Maharaja and it's a single story building. The building is highly decorated by wooden structure, weapons and wooden artifacts. The rooms were well furnished with beds, sofa and beautiful curtains as well as we saw fireplaces to keep the rooms warm. After exploring Gulmarg, at the late afternoon, we thought of returning to Srinagar. As we thought of doing some shopping, our driver stopped his car near a shop. The shop was well decorated with all warm clothes and garments in the ground floor and wooden artifacts in the first floor and hence we bought some gifts for our family members. After shopping, we finished our lunch at Payam restaurant and thought of returning to Srinagar to our place of stay and hence we called off the date.